Hello everyone, I'm Chester44, also known as Fly, and welcome to this Let's Play of Okami. Last episode, we uh, happened to make our way back to the forest here and stumbled across Kushi again. Uh, she was saved from a bunch of, from a bunch more demons by Susano, who happened to show up, and uh, we managed to help him defeat all the de demons. Which terrified him because, oh god, what? who has possessed his uh, sword? Anyway, she's now got to get all that water back to the town so she can make uh, some special sake. But it sounds like we got to do some saving over in this direction. So let's head on over. Oh crap, I literally dropped into one. I can honestly say I did not see that coming. And there we go. More demon fangs. I wonder how many we have at this point. I honestly have no idea. Anyway, back to making our way over to the kid. Alright, so there he is. He is over there. Let's see what we can do here. Wow, looks like you got a big one there, kid. With all that noise you were making, I was sure the monsters... That is a very large fish. And the dog is there too. Ome! Shoot, my line snapped! Curse you, Whopper! I'm gonna catch you! You're gonna pay for what you did to me! Hey kid, where'd that humongous fish come from? I want that your dog Ume in its mouth! That was the legendary fish whopper. You see, it swallowed the moon's reflect the moon reflected on the water's surface. So it really does live in these deep murky waters. Well it's gonna pay for gobbling up old Ume. Sheesh, that dog sure gets eaten a lot, doesn't he? I don't have any fishing line left, but I'll snag that whopper yet. This shall be a battle to avenge Ume! Yeah, I mean, this is getting more interesting by the minute. That whopper, or whatever it's called, would be quite a catch. Let's stick around and see if we can help him catch it. Yes, we will! Now that's what I wanted to hear. Let's get psyched up. Okay, Amy, you got the basic idea, right? Yeah, I know about this. Alright, got a bite. Oh, almost forgot. Got him. Well, it's not Whopper, but it is... a Killifish. Killifish? That's a new one. Okay, got another. That's a crab! Oh, a crab grabbed onto a fishing line? I'm not sure. River crab, specifically. But okay. And that looks like the big one. Come on, come on. Oh, I gotta do it a few times. There's two slashes, and that was enough! You caught Whopper. Excellent. I knew I could do it. Finally caught Whopper. Heh. <laughs> And here I was so worried about you. And here I was so worried about you, kid. You're one fine fisherman. You should be proud of yourself. 
Keep on fishing. And make sure to bring along plenty of line. How could I ever fish again? I mean, what about you, May? It's never coming back. Oh boy, the crybaby's back. Uh, don't worry, after all, you, uh... Eh? Hmm? That's interesting. Oh, dang! Look, the surface of Deep Abyss is as bright and shiny as a mirror. The moon's reflection sure looks beautiful. Hmm? Wait, where's the moon? How come I can only see its reflection? Oh. Because we're about to unleash the moon, I think. <laughs> Hey, look! Another constellation! Well, we have one, two, and three. Is that a rabbit? And it is! With... Okay, I... Is that related to making bread or something? I'm afraid I don't know exactly. Did you just try to hit me? Ah, Amaterasu, origin of all that is good and mother to us all. After your departure, I hid myself within the moon's reflection. Consumed by a fish, I patiently awaited this day in its belly. Now that a glimmer of hope has returned, I have returned. I, Yumigami, god of the moon, cover the earth in pale moonlight. Use this light in conjunction with your own on your perilous journey. Okay then! Moon power, I guess. Yomigami, the god of the moon power. Swampa really did swallow up the moon reflected on the water. Now you have the crescent brush technique. That one lets you draw a crescent moon in the sky. It's said to have the power to turn day into night. Wonder if it really works. Could drawing a curved line in the sky really bring out the moon? May as well give it a try. Well, that worked. The moon, the moon, it's come out! Now you have the power to turn day into night. <laughs> Think of the nighttime pleasures that await. I know that sounds tempting, but first things first. We still have that matter Princess Fuse asked us to deal with. Oh, look, the dog. Hey, it's Yume. It came out of Whopper's mouth. You okay, boy? <laughs> I knew it would spit Ume out. That's why I told you not to worry. I mean, just look at him. He looks like one nasty tasting canine. Really? Yeah, never seen an uglier looking dog in my life. What? I say something wrong. Really, Isun? Just trying to have a little fun like I do with Furball, yeah? White Wolf, how did you come to bear the canine tracker? Hmm? There's a familiar scent in the air. My co former comrades. It emanates from your body. What the? Well, it's none of your business how we smell. It's just that we don't like taking baths, that's all. Hey, wait. Did he just say something about the canine tracker? Canine tracker decrees that its bearer shall prove its his strength. I shall be the one to test it. Oh, well, I guess we gotta deal with, uh... Canine Warrior Jin. What the... You're one of the eight canine warriors. Emmy, this dog means business. I guess we'll pick a fight. Never thought we'd be going up against you. Bring it on, Snaggletooth. Best of luck, dude.
Oh, jeez, that's... He leaves exploding poos. I can honestly admit I didn't see that coming. Like, wow. Ow. Oh boy! Almost. Got him. There we go. Okay. That works. Not perfect, but pretty good. I know Princess Pew summons me. It is my duty to defeat Crimson Helm, defiler of Gale Shrine. This child and his father saved me from certain death. I owe my life to them. What am I to do? Well, I guess you can give me the, uh, that power orb thing. That works too. The Justice Orb. What's this? The Power Orb has chosen you. I don't need to worry anymore. Even separated the hearts of the Canine Warriors beat us one. I shall spend the rest of my years here under the guise of Ume. What? You're not going back to the Princess. After all we went through. Wow, that was some fight. Guess the Animal Kingdom's a rough place. Yeah, and it's a lot more complicated than people think. The subjugation of Crimson Helm is now in your hands. Please tell what has transpired to my former master, Princess Pews. Huh? I'm more worried about you and the kid. Uh, before I go, um... Here. I think you need some, uh, some food after going through all that. And there you go. And we get a bit of praise for feeding the dog. Right, I think that's everything we need to take care of in here. I'm just gonna go... Uh, let me see how we have things here. 23 of those, it's not enough. Not enough to get anything there. Ah, fish tome. River crab. This tiny crab is one admirer's with its adorable sideways walk. This fish's unique eyes are said to bring happiness. And... Fish that devoured the moon's reflection on the water's surface. And in the bestiary... Canine warrior Jin. Jin stands for justice. To show compassion to both the living and the dead. To care enough to give one's own life in service. Okay then. Well, moving on. Sure, why not? That's a slash. You also get a slash. Come here, you. Oh, that worked. And a slash. And another fang. That works. And we can continue on. Make our way up to getting out of here. I'll be fine turning things into night now, because now we'll be able to see where other treasures are. And we do need to kind of go this way. Pick up other things and the like. All right. Oh, Kushi. Heave, ho, heave, ho. Yeah, still got a way to go. It's taken ages just to get this far. How do you carry that this far? And how are you gonna carry it the rest of the way to the village? Don't worry about that. I might not look it, but I'm quite tough. Brewing sake is my life. If I can't manage on my own, where will I be? Wow, I underestimated you. I'll keep my mouth shut from now on. Well, thanks for coming to see me anyway. Here's a little something for your trouble. Oh, thank you. 
All right, so we gotta go this way. Already dug up that. That we can't really do anything about, so... I think we gotta go back over there. And if we do any fighting on the way, that's honestly not a bad idea, because we might find something. And got him. There we go. That works out. We're strong enough. Alright, let's keep going. Like I said, I'm fine with fighting some of these. Because there's a chance one of the big guys shows up. And that works out. At least these uh, killings are going very quickly and we're getting plenty of demon fangs. Who knows? They could be useful for things. And now I gotta wait for this guy to come back up. Oh, come on! Really? Come on out. And there we go. Easily handled. Nice move, Pooch. So what do you want? What's with the twinkle in your eye, Pooch? You want to race? Okay, lightning eat, I'll give you a run for your money. Oh, we got a rush. Ready, go! I think we're basically doing a loop. And I think I'm winning. Not what I wanted. Okay, it's daytime now. And we just screwed up that race. Well, I guess we gotta do this again. Damn demons. Screwing up everything that was planned. Bad shape and leave an offering. We can't, we don't have any offerings. So that's not gonna happen. Well, let me see if I can find the guy again. There you are. Take me on again. Sure. Oh, wait, no. I think what I need to do is I need to tackle him. Right, I think I need to get in front of him, and then tackle him. I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Got him! Phew, you caught up with me already? Never have guessed it, but you're a real sprinter, Pooch. That's one point for you! <laughs> hey, there we go! Better speed up if I'm losing to a wolf. I'm gonna polish up these golden feet of mine, so come back soon. Sure, we can come back to you at some point in the future. Another thing that needs an offering. I think there was a shrine in here that we can do something about. Oh, what the? This guy. This is alive, huh? It's great to be clutching my axe again. See this kiln, friend? 
disappeared when the curse struck. My workshop is my pride and joy. I'm stoked to have it back. I'm actually an artist communing with nature on a deep level, man. I can hardly wait to start firing up some pots again. Earthenware's like a mirror into the soul, man. Whatever mood you're in, good or bad, it all comes out in the pots. Check this out, I just finished fir firing my first piece. My first vase, the Azure Neck. I love flowers. Single flower vases are my specialty. You can have it if you like it. Would you like me a vase? It'll make a good offering to those weather-beaten guardian statues. Still, I guess a wolf doesn't have much need for vases, huh? Oh, really? Well then, I think we'll take this to that uh, statue that needs an offering. Let's see, where was it? Was there one in here? I think there was. Yes. Well, there we go. And we got some of that from it. Check out the Guardian statue now. Looks great thanks to you. See, even the Guardian's smiling. Okay, definitely something to keep an eye out for. I wonder if we can do something with more of them. Oh, now I remember there was one at the bottom. Hmm. Looks like you snatched that vase and took it somewhere. I guess even wolves appreciate fine art. I suppose so. Now, if I remember, I think... There was one in here that was just dirty. It didn't need an offering, it was just dirty. And I think... We can use some of this in order to clean... In or, blah, use some of the water in order to clean it up. That's if I am remembering correctly. I mean, I could be wrong, but... Yes, here it is. Statue's all dirty, but... Is that not what we're supposed to do? I guess I was wrong. Okay, my mistake. We can head out of here. Alright, head on down. I should drop down a save. Give me a... No, I'll, I'll do it when we go into the village. Right, there we go there. There is someone over here. Was it a merchant? Yes, there's a merchant here. Do some shopping, yes. I think I can sell, yeah, I can sell the fish. And I can buy mermaid coins, I'll buy, I'll buy two of them. And that seems to be all I can do. Alright, well, at least it's something. Which means we are gonna go this way. Now, it feels like there should be something here. And yet, we've already unlocked the chest. I don't even remember what I did there. Hmm. Alright. Okay, we made it back to here. Oh, well, there is. Oh! Well, the canine track has suddenly appeared. So that means. Yep, there's one here, and I think I know who and where it is. We're gonna do something else before we go up to it. Because we have a treasure that we can pick up. I would very much like the treasure. Head on up here.
Hello again. The condition of the village tells me that the festival draws near. I worry that this year's festival may bring with it bad tidings. A great darkness casts its shadow over our land. Even I am not fully aware of all that transpires in the darkness. It seems that a tremendously evil force lies in wait for us all. It is all I can do to remain here and hope against hope. May the fresh scented flowers protect you always. Indeed. Now if you don't mind... A golden peach. Mystical fruit that fills the astral pouch instantaneously. That doesn't really help me, but okay, thank you. Alright, so we can head back down to the village. It does seem some things are happening. Let's see, you appear to be doing something. Oh, she was gone so long she had me worried there. But thank goodness she's come back safely. We'll have eight purification sake for the festival after all. Oh, I can almost taste it. I'm sure. Oh, well, we found the dog. How long are you planning to just sit there? You remind me of a certain statue I saw somewhere. Is that the canine tracker? Have you come to take me back to my master? You hear that, Amy? You must be on an errand from Princess Fuse if you bear that. I shall not move from here, for the festival will begin soon. Canine Warrior 2. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You're one of the Satomi Canine Warriors. And you're ignoring the princess's summons to wait for the festival. Come back here tonight. You need to have a man-to-man -man talk. Man-to-man -man talk? Don't you mean dog to wolf? Okay then. Tell you what. We will have that talk in the next episode. Because this one's gone on about long enough. Next episode, we'll get him back. Night will fall by our will, and everything will be handled. But that'll be in the next episode. So until then, I am Chester44. I'll send in his fly. That is Isun and Amaterasu. This has been a Let's Play of Okami, and I shall see you all next time.